This week on the Retirement Quick Tips podcast, I'm bringing you segments of an interview I did with Jason Parker. We're talking about three numbers you must know to retire with confidence. Jason is a best selling author. He created the Retirement Calculator and he's the host of Sound Retirement Radio, which is a very popular podcast, has over a million downloads. I've included links to his podcast and other resources that we talk about in the interview in the show notes. So be sure to check those out. And without further ado, here is today's interview segment with Jason Parker. So today we're going to talk about, you said the three numbers you must know to retire with confidence. How would you define confidence? Like if you were going to retire today and feel confident, like what are the things that come to mind in order to really make that transition? So maybe we can talk about that first, just defining what it, what you mean when you say retire with confidence. I'm so glad you asked that question because there's really three things that we're always trying to, every time that I get an opportunity to speak or if I'm on television or if I'm speaking at a local event, the three things that we want to deliver to people are clarity to know what's most important, confidence to know the numbers are going to work. And when you have clarity about what's most important in your life and you, and you know that the numbers are going to work, then you can experience freedom, freedom from fear, freedom from greed freedom from worry, freedom to go out and live your best life and spend your time with the people that are most important to you. But on the confidence side of things, I think it's two parts. I think part of it's education. You have to learn about this industry. You have to learn about money. You have to learn about investing. A lot of people really aren't interested in that topic. There's a lot of people right. that where finance is not the thing that's most important to them. And, and that's okay. That's why there's people like you and me that can help people in that area of their life on the financial side. Part of it's education. The other part, though, is actually crunching the numbers, especially if you're getting ready to retire. This is the biggest financial transition in people's life. Most people don't want to go back to work after they retire. So you've got to get this right. And there's a lot of decisions, a lot of micro decisions to be made when it comes to retirement planning and investment management and what insurance should you have? And when can you retire? Have you saved enough to retire? Are you going to run out of money in retirement? These are a lot of the questions that people have. The only way that I know to do that and to be able to give people that confidence is to crunch the numbers using some kind of software. And as you mentioned in the introduction, that's one, been one of my passion projects. So it started with the radio show and then it became the podcast. And then after the podcast, I, I've written two books on the topic of retirement planning. And then about six years ago, maybe seven years ago, I started building software to help more people develop confidence as they're heading into retirement. And so however people get there, whether they're working with an advisor or they're more of the DIY, the do-it-yourselfer, and they're just looking to create a plan, we want to educate them, but we also want to give them the, the tools to empower them. I'm on a mission to democratize retirement because unfortunately, well, fortunately, there are advisors, but many advisors have investment minimums, maybe $500,000 or a million dollars. I was listening to a guy the other day, he has a $2 million investment minimum. And so there's a lot of people that would love advice. They would love to have that confidence heading into retirement, but they don't have that much money to work with. And so I think that's one of the beautiful things about software is we can serve a lot of people if they're willing to take a little bit of time and enter numbers on their own. So how would someone access that calculator that you're talking about? Where would they go to get that? It's a software as a service. It lives in the cloud. It's just retirementbudgetcalculator.com. Love it. Good name. <laughs> it's always nice to have a nice, clear name, easy to find. I'll be sure to link to that as well so people can find that. 